Welcome back to Mars and Hammer. Last time we left off uh, after the conclusion of the Boyars Ball, during which a uh, lot of socialising, some of it successful, some of it unsuccessful, some of it dangerously over successful, and now we're here with Wolf unconscious body being dragged through the streets and two of his friends are following a, a, a attempting to track him down yes and you know what as well? I'm suffering for the lack of arrows. Gonna it wouldn't happen to be that you carry any on you. Mine are all like No arrows. The rest of just our cross, shit. No arrows, just crossbow bolts. Damn. Wait. Let me check let me check my loot page. Yeah, I on purpose didn't bring like all of my stuff because I'm an elf and not a human, and I can't probably get away with bringing a full quiver of arrows. Or so I thought. I wish I'd said fuck it to propensity in effect, because it turns out I was doomed to failure. I have eight arrows. Gimme, please. Would you have brought them with you, is the question. Well, considering that well, considering that there was some shit coming along, he would have grabbed his bag. Fair enough. Yep, yeah, I sadly uh, am a little bit far off of getting my stuff unless you want to unless you want to borrow my crossbow uh i mean i can make do with eight arrows you see they last really long if you uh recover them from the corpses of the people you kill okay so yeah i will uh just slide them into my boot ties again and knock one to my bow Sure. You were able to uh, get back to uh, where the fight was with Gunnar in tow and the uh, quiver filled, uh, but now you are going to have to actually start trying to locate the trail. And given that there was at least one gunshot earlier, uh, in the fight earlier, um, you might not have that much time. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna follow the almost certain to be there blood splatters and shit like that. <sighs> yeah, it, it is... You know, at the conclusion of the big snowy season, so uh, the trail is still there. Uh, okay. Can I get help from Gunnar for a cluster? Uh, what test are we doing? Uh, we're trying to follow a trail. Oh, that is something. Yes, I can help you. Great. You have it trained? Yes, I do. Uh, you... Don't worry about fortuning it. Uh, not that I have any. It's it's... Not, we've not slept yet. Yeah, it's blood on snow. Uh, you... There are verbal bonuses. You, you didn't let me say, but... You know. uh, yeah, you are able to uh, quickly... Uh, catch the trail and follow it. It does seem all three of the Khazars you saw are sticking together based on the number of footprints you see. And... yeah. So, wolf hunt, huh? He, he was hurt pretty badly. Hopefully he's still alive. They're probably not <laughs> taking him otherwise. 
Uh, knowing the Keith Levites, the most he's most likely either putting him in a snow pile so that he freezes to death slowly, or dumping him in a river so that he freezes faster and dies. All right, great. We can keep those observations on the fucking down low, I suppose. I would rather, uh, you know, imagine that my first human friend isn't dead as fuck or dying terribly. Mm. True. All right. But that's what it gets for flirting that hard with the queen. Zarina. Of course. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure the Zarina is more interested in having sex with his darling wife. Seems kind of fucking strange that she would, you know, send guards to kill her husband. That's a rather hard one to, uh, you know, sweep under the rug. Ah, uh, true. Yeah, I'll, we, we follow the trail. What do now? Yeah, uh, after a little while it does become clear it is leading to the river and... Great. Uh, yeah, so, are you making any effort to be subtle about uh, this? Hmm. I'm gonna say no. No, I think we're making an effort to be quick instead. Let us surprise them with haste instead of silence. You want me to bring the wolf? Uh, I mean, I don't think we had time to like. Organize that shit. Very well. Yeah. Since you didn't bring Boros to the ball, you would actually have to swing by the house you had been staying at. And Which we don't be... have time. Mm. It's up to you. Nope. Oh, let's see. Uh, how long will this have taken you guys? Oh, wow, apparently. Uh, so, yeah, you guys uh, make it to the. What a piss. Well, you guys uh, turn a corner so the river side is in sight. And that, uh, yeah, the trail of blood seems to end at a door. Okay. Uh, uh, if that's where the trail ends, I think, you know, Gunner, would you like to use your patented opening door techniques? Sure, Gunnar will attempt to open the door. All right, you should be on a map. Um... We are, yeah. Oh. The door's over here, sorry, or is it yes, this gap? It... Oh. This one here. All right, I ready my weapon. I will take point behind Gunnar. All right, so you're attempting to smash the door. Yes, with a uh, c with a call of male bear, I kick open the door. All right, roll. A call of male bear. Us. What would you like me to roll? Strength, please. All right, with a resounding crash the door is thrown open revealing on the other side a pair of cosars they are they appear to be midway through hauling a now almost naked wolfram uh, up to the door sweet uh if gonna kick the door and add my weapon ready do i get a shot before initiative Yes, you do. Dope. I take it he is surprised? Ah, uh, yeah, with that good a strength roll, definitely. How much would a bonus that be? 
Uh, this isn't a stealth shot, but this is a surprise shot. So a, uh, I believe it's a twenty. Sweet. <laughs> All right. I'll just uh, take the default take... maximum damage. Uh, you I should have roll so many anyway degrees of success. Because, oh yeah, you're um, right. Yeah. If you roll a ten, that triggers fury. <laughs> no. Okay. So I will make do with a. Wait a second. Uh, that should be a four damage higher. So fourteen damage. Armor piercing two. Yeah. And you chapos. Oh, that's uh, that's a big hit. Uh, which one did you shoot, actually? Uh, the one right here. All right. It's a very big hit. So yeah, uh, at this point, it is time for our initiative. You know what? There are. Apparently there's been some moderate reset on the sheet at some point. I'm missing some numbers. One more damage higher. Mm. There you go. And apparently my BS bonus is lower than it should be. Right. There we go. All right, initiative. God damn, that's, that's not bad for me. Kind of annoying for Gunner that both of those two rolled exactly a point above him. All right, so sort descending. Ah, hey, here's All right, cool. I shoot that guy again. Sure. I take it just the normal, not surprised now. Correct. Oh, right in the head. Fuck you, guy. <laughs> well, now he isn't surprised. He will attempt to dodge. Fuck! Yeah, but he ate his dodge for me. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna keep track of my arrows just with this uh, counter so I don't fuck around with my sheets once. Sure. He hurls himself down and uh, the arrow flies overhead. Now, oh, this cause The cause at the table that unfortunately Ezra couldn't see, uh, and that is missing both his ears, leaps up with a cry of alarm. He brings his musket up from uh, <coughs> its sling and fires a shot at Gunnar. I do have my shield, by the way. Okay, that will cancel this. Uh... Oh, well. The bullet ricochets off the rim of your shield. I guess I'll use the little gun turret thing to show that he has you know, shot and that one needs to reload. Uh, this Koza, he will release his grip on Wolf and uh, pull out his Volge and step up, swinging it underhand. Wait, didn't one of them break their Volge last time? No, he threw it. Uh, it slipped out of his grasp, and he accidentally threw it hilariously far over Esva's hat. So there's possibly one without their super spear. No. God, no. These are Kozars. They, they live for those. But you, you would have gone and gotten it back. Uh, yeah, uh, this guy... And then the next guy will also step up and uh, try to gang up on Gunnar. Gunnar will attempt to dodge. 
Or this is a slow weapon, so please uh, remember your bonus to uh, evading it. What was that, 10? Mm-hmm. So Gunnar is able to sidestep the swing, and yeah, uh, your turn, Gunnar. <laughs> Do I get any bonus for hitting or anything? No. All right. You know, I haven't spent any fate points. I'm gonna spend one to just make that a hit. Sure, and I assume this will be on the guy that uh, used up his dodge, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so, that's a leg hit. I mean... Strike to injure as well. Okay, go on and roll me a d handy. <laughs> okay, so you get the uh, 10 critical effect. Uh, good job. Dead as fuck. Yeah. Uh, Gnar, you, um... <clears throat> yeah, Gnar brings his axe down, chops straight through, uh, the... one of the Kozar's hips, and then, with the momentum, keeps on going down to come out of his other knee. He just dies in a fountain of blood. May I roll intimidation if I say something? Sure. We came to your nation as guests. We came to your ball as invited guests of your nobility. You broke your oath of hospitality, your nation's oath of hospitality. I am your reckoning. I am your punishment. Oh, go on and roll. Any bonus? No. Nice! Right. So they uh, will power be at a negative 10. So the one in the door staggers back, uh, shocked and fearful, but the one at the table just... Uh, He's deaf! He can't fucking hear you! <laughs> Actually, you know what? I, I shot off both the fucking ears! That's a good I'd point! Also, I'd also like to advance into the room. Uh, sure, yeah, I believe you do have another half action. Yep, a uh, half action move is. Okay, four. Is that okay with you? Yep. Stand down. If Is this other Kossar gonna fight us uh, at the doorway here? He's quailing, uh, but it's not his turn. Okay. If you cool. don't want to die, stand down. Uh, I'm going to step here so I can see into the room. 
I'm going to fix this fucking Cossar with a very pointed look. I'm going to draw my bow, pull back the arrow, two fucking arrows, and I'm going to shoot over his shoulder at, at old Death Boy there. You want to try to shoot two arrows at once? And this guy. Oh, well, no, I, I take two shots. I'm just flavoring. Okay. So that's hit number one. Does he dodge? Uh, he'll try. He, this would be the third time I hit this fucker in the head, otherwise. Features. <laughs> Does this guy actually have the big head fatality on him? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, hand this dome uh, open. Uh, uh, does that drop him? Uh, let's see. How much head armor do you have, chap? Oh, right, you're the one that uh, lost your helmet as well. Yeah, so... he's, I shot his helmet off and cut off both his ears <laughs> with all headshots. And I've once again shot this poor bastard in the head. Alright, so he'll take seven damage to the head. Uh, do you have strike mm, twinger? No, and I believe that's only for melee anyway, right? No, no, you can uh, take it as a There's range. an equivalent for... Oop. Arranged things. Oh, then give me a moment. I might have whatever it's called. Uh... Nope, I've got the damage and the aim bonus so far. I was about to say, doesn't target here give you every range? It like, does. I, that's why I was like, maybe I did pick it up. No, didn't grab that one. <laughs> 25. Alright, so he's at negative 3, that's a... Um... It's an 8. Alright, yeah, the arrow strikes him uh, in one of the cheekbones, and it shatters. Blood and fragments of bone spray out in every direction, and uh, he collapses, unconscious. Nice! Uh, I instead uh, flick the point of this uh, arrow, like, you know, when you're double gripping it, and I will, instead of firing the second one at the man in front of me, Hold it in front of him and end my turn. I will end my sure. attack early. Uh, Make the right choice. Let's see. Nothing quite like a threat that you back up with action. Yeah, I know. I'm really glad I didn't fucking spoon that attack. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, he will murmur a curse and then, uh, drop his forge. Sweet. Know that you're in the wrong. It, it can end here. Let us take my ally. And you can say that they were mauled by a bear. Fine, fine. Take your assassin friend and go. Assassin? <laughs> oh, that man barely even knows how to hold a knife, and you call him an assassin. A man that does not need to know how to use a knife to know how to kill. <laughs> Especially southern cowardly. He spits at a wolf's body. I backhand him. What's he saying, Gunner? No, I'm still in a fairly good mood. Do not, sp do not start something that you cannot finish. I'm taking him. We are leaving. Fine, fine. Go. Where is his where is his stuff? Uh, he will point at a uh, chest underneath this uh, bench. Open it. 
You don't. He's got guns. Don't you dare let him open it. He'll fucking you know pull a goddamn gun on us. <laughs> no. I'll open it. That's why I keep an eye on him. <laughs> keep more than a fucking eye on him. I'll very pointedly wiggle the arrow. Of course, let's hope you don't take too long. I can only keep a bowstring pulled back so fucking long. I open up the chest. Uh, it does appear that within are all of Wolf's worldly possessions. Yep, there is a bleed button. Well, a blood loss button. I look at Wolf and how's how's Wolf looking? Like he was almost disemboweled, then dragged through the snow, and then forcefully stripped and naked, and then dragged across some uh, some wood. He's not in a good way. Uh... I'm gonna look to this cossar boy. All right. Grab your friend, maybe he won't bleed out. Right. And yes, he will indeed go over to his friend and start trying to treat him. Rosendi, I'm gonna try something for the first time, okay? Ooh, is he gonna be your petty heel? First off, I'm gonna channel. Okay. Okay. Wake up! Nice! Okay, now this part I'm a little bit fuzzy on. I have a good channeling, so what do I do with the spell itself? Uh, so you go to your spell book. Okay. And, um, you should have put your spells in, yes? Yep. Alright, each one of them has a cast button. Yep. So you, you can uh, only use one magic die, because that's all you have. Uh-huh. Uh, so submit that. You succeeded on channeling, and yep. you do not have the ingredient, I believe. Nope. I don't think I have any yet. Hope for the best. Um, yeah. Hey. So Gunnar has no idea what he just did. He just touched Gun. He just touched Wolf, and he doesn't seem nearly as bad anymore. He doesn't seem quite as bad. That is how I'm playing this. Gunnar has no idea what the fuck he's doing when he casts. All right, Wolf, you feel like rather like shit, but you're suddenly aware that you're not dead. Ah. See? Told you he's not dead. Wait. What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking what? Where am I? You're naked. Get your stuff. Ah. God, it's cold. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're shriveled. I lived in this. <laughs> I, toss, I toss his coat at him. Put on your coat. Put on your put on your boots. Okay. <laughs> he will slowly start putting his shit on. I'm gonna he did look. Look at the cost. Or just like put two fingers in my eyes, point them at him. Like fucking coming for you, son. Don't. <sighs> fine. 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 Oh, if you see. Oh, the dead man there? If anyone asks, he was mauled by a bear. Yeah, I'll pluck an arrow out of uh, him. Alright. And then the other arrow. Alright. <laughs> oh, the other one got destroyed in that guy's face, yes. Yeah. Okay. I look at the uh, still alive Corsair. Now, if we leave. None of this ever happened. We'll go about our business. You will go about yours. 
No one needs to know about this little incident. Mm, go on the run of roll intimidate again. Alright. We should fucking we need to get back. Oops. Hello. 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 Sorry, uh, I accidentally hit the uh, back button on my mouse. Um, oh, I'm just taking a look at pictures of Volga on uh, Google. That is an evil looking halberd. Yeah. Oh, hey, I inherited a Vogue. <laughs> okay, do not take their weapons right in front of them. No, I'm kidding. Also, be, it's really not that, my style of weapon. That probably would be a diplomatic incident. Yeah, um, because our looks suitably quelled. All right, well, let's get back. I'm worried about what's going to happen to Amy at this rate. And also Yoka. I didn't even see her when I left. What's going to happen? Oh, shit, Amy! And Wolf just runs out the door. Yep, uh, following after. Load stop. your fucking gun while we run, man. Stuff some snow in the wound. It'll help stop the bleeding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look on the bright side. If this is some kind of unintended situation, we could be looking at some royal payout. Don't try it. Fuck, you wouldn't. Our fucking guards just try and ax him a fucking question. Let's uh let's let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Wolf says as he's like shoving powder and a round down his gun barrel. Show it. Just just gotta find just gotta find Amy. Just gotta find Amy. Yep. All right. Also, yeah, how the with... fuck am I not dead? Uh, um, sometimes fucking good gods look out for us. I touched you. I flipped you over. Your wound wasn't nearly as bad as what I thought it was, and I think you woke up. Well, uh, praise be to Ulfric and uh, all that. Let's uh, let's go. See, see, Esva, I told you that my god would smile on the wolf hunt. Oh God, that is the lamest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking put me back in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Yolka. Yes. Would you uh, be a dear and make me a willpower test with a negative twenty? Oh, that's that's bad. That's a bad. That's a bad. <laughs> Is it magic or intimidation? I've already factored in all of your modifiers. That's oh, that's even worse. <laughs> oh God. Well, here's me rolling a. Fail willpower save. Yeah. Do I want to pass this? Do I want to burn fake point? I mean, I feel like there's no situation in which you make a will save and then want to fail. I think I'm going to re-roll that. It, it's a one in three chance of me making it. Alright. Uh, there we go. Okay, and also roll up a skeption. Is it sound based? Uh, yeah, yeah, sound based here would uh, would help. Oh, that's right, the cute here. Okay. Fuck yeah, good on you, Bob, for passing that will. Uh. Nope, I'm gonna have to keep that one. Uh, I don't. Uh, wait, my perception is only fifty-one. Let me let me make sure that it. Oh, it's in. Okay, it is an intelligence-based thing. Okay. 
Ja. Så jeg hjælker om... For a couple of times where uh, you and the Count are together and... Well, it seems like he murmurs something every so often, but... Uh, you can't make out what. Mm. No? Why? I don't know, I just suddenly heard women uh, twittering in the background. Like, I always thought there's also bar noises. Like... Not me. Like mumbling in his sleep or mumbling just, um... He's calling you daddy. A bit of in his sleep a bit while you're doing the do. Mm. I'm sorry, I just had someone pop into my room. What's going on? Uh, apparently he's whispering sweet, sweet death threats. I'm in his sleep. Uh, the intimidate check from him earlier, that was, you know, how much has he previously scared this Koza? Oh, As opposed no. to, you know, Gunnar's. Oh. Not trying to intimidate you. That, that would oh, be different. Just, oh, he was just asking, uh, who is he more terrified of, me or the Count? Mm-hmm. Well, to be fair, uh, when you have a noble of your country versus a person, a member of a tribe that regularly attempts to lay waste to your country. Yeah, just roll up on you. <laughs> um... Who can summon powers more terrifying than any man can conjure. Uh... I don't really know what to do with this information. Like, can I listen closer? Is that? No, you failed your perception check. Okay. I just wanted to be absolutely sure that. You have this mighty power of communication, though. You could ask. Like, ask him directly what he... Yeah, summoned? what is that... So it sound like a person? Fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Since I somewhat trust this guy, uh, I will ask him what he what he mumbles about in his sleep sometimes, or if he was having a bad dream. I, I'm going to play on the knowledge that I don't know that he's a, the chief um, chief of assassination. I think the count count. He's the minister of internal affairs. Yeah, I don't he's think count I, Chocula. I don't think I actually know that. But even if you no, didn't know that, why would he ever try to murder you? Yeah. Yeah. He's, um... he's obviously fallen for your dwarven charms. He likes them so Your style. voluptuous dwarven charm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With your yeah, huge tracks of land. land. <laughs> uh, Each one around as broad as a pumpkin. Fuck, I'm turgid. Don't worry about it. I think you've nailed it. Seems my dreams and my reality are overlapping just a little. Hmm. 
And then his hand goes slowly down. And uh, we're going to cut away from Yolka there in a fade to uh, lose. He's got a knife! <laughs> yeah, that's gonna do s stab. He's uh, gonna stab you, it's just a question of how. <laughs> there is gonna be impalement. <laughs> just thrust deep inside you. Mm. <laughs> and we're going back to Amy and the Tsarina. So, these two, Amy had just spat out some of the water. Uh, that's it, triggered terrible burning sensations. And said she thought it was poison. Um, from behind you steps a servant who I need to open. Uh, can I name him? No. Oh, I was going to call him Russian Koslovich. You might as well have called him Slav Squat Thrust. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, there's a regular at work that I'm pretty much starting to call uh, Russian Koslovich. Doesn't speak, he barely speaks any language except hello, coupon, thank you, good night. But most, most of the time, he's a very nice person. So, yeah, he steps up, swings a club down, and it uh, sails straight between the pair of you and uh, strikes the table that uh, the uh, two pitchers and goblets were on, sending them all flying everywhere. So well, did, did he just toss his weapon? Initiative. No, no, it's one. Oh my god, I can't wait to see the Queen's damage stats because she's gonna fucking brutalize this this mook. Uh Yeah, I mean... she doesn't actually have a stat block because she's for fucking Zarina. I yeah, I feel yeah. like much like a god, you don't really need to give the Zarina a stat block. That's a good, very good point. I don't even. Th she just like you know what? You're frozen now. What? I was about to say. Do you know what? Do you know how she's gonna fight? Have you ever seen um, frogs? Have you ever seen like any small creature or a frog freeze from the inside out? No, I can't say I ever have. It's that's kind of it's, fucked up. It's yeah, it, it's fucked up looking. I'm pretty sure that's what she could do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but also there's even beyond that. She is one of the finest weapons fighters. So, just going to use this sheet to roll and then add a 20. Oh, fuck. I'm pretty sure, what was that even a fucking weapon? Something absurd like Fear Frost, the Death Sword. <laughs> fuck you. Damn it, Google. Why can you not translate Fear Frost in Russian? What are you trying to translate? Fear Frost. Ah, uh, this poor, poor commoner. Yeah, I think they're gonna get um, flash frozen. Huh. Did you fail? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, she she apparently fails her channeling. Um. Okay. That's possible. No biggie. It's just one. Just the modifier. That's kind of scary. And uh, then she. Turns around with a glow starting to 
use one of her hands, she appears to be casting a spell. Oh, shit. Amy! Uh... How far is the commoner? He's, like... a foot behind you. Yeah, yeah it does sound like there are a bunch of, like, noisy people outside your room, there's. Yeah, that's just students. Ah, uh, of course. Oh, okay. Like... That would explain the twittering. Okay. The smart thing to do would get out of the way of the fucking spell. Hello? But yeah, behind us seems safe. Do... Oh, God. You gotta take a guard stance and prepare to smack him if he gets any closer. That is all. All right. Whore, assassin, get away from our Zarina! And yeah, he will step up and uh, try to strike at Amy again. I am no assassin! I like that you didn't deny the whole part, though. Of course not. First things first. Although, actually, you had a guarded stance, didn't you? Does that give him yes. a negative to attack, or you a bonus to defend? I forget. No, I only get a bonus to block. Which I'm gonna okay. try right now! Ah, god. I parry the shit of that. As you strike his hand away. And on my turn, can I respond with a stun? Can I respond by trying to stun his ass? When it gets to your turn, if it gets to your turn. Perfect. I'm gonna die. Okay, so that's... <clears throat> and let me just see what is the two... Spells are complicated, uh, sorry. Wait, what happened? Rina cast the spell. That's good, right? Uh, we're about to find out. Okay, uh, yes, so she now has to make a weapon skill test, so... Uh, she would probably have that talent. Oh, you poor dear. Was that his resist ice thing? Yeah. So this is gonna suck for him. It's fine. He'll probably survive. Probably. That is... what is that? Uh, that is the Death Frost spell. Oh, the Zarina nice. reaches out, grabs the hand that you sorted aside, and he, in the space of seconds... Freezes from the inside out. is turned into a solid ice statue. 
Amelia, uh, could you move your token so we could see how far in the negatives he is? Oh, no, no I don't. she doesn't even have to. The bar I went mean, past her I own. That's right, the bar. <laughs> <laughs> that far. The reason will not be tolerated. What, what is this? I I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh no. Wolf. We need to find Wolf. They tried to kill me there. Surely. It must have come after the others. What is happening here? I will have my gods sent out. For now, this rope. <laughs> uh, nice! <laughs> murdering people make me obscenely frisky. Ice, ice, baby. I feel like Amelia would be sufficiently horrified to do so. We either do this willingly, or I do this jailhouse style. Uh... uh what the hell? So, uh, Vizarina will briefly exit. You can hear barked commands. Does Amelia speak, uh, Kislevite? Yes. Yeah. I am. Uh, Seems she is giving orders that uh, some troops be sent out to locate uh, the uh, Imperial Dignitary Wolfram and uh, also to summon Count Samyonovich. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Yeah, by the time she comes in, Amelia is gonna be disrobed. She knows better. Alright, good. Uh, so, another fade to black, and we will uh, join. Where did I put you three? That's where I put you three. And we will rejoin uh, Ezra, Wolf, and Gunnar as they are making their way through the streets of the city. Alright. Fuck this fucking cold. <laughs> Wolf's oh, finally gotten his jacket closed around himself, hands shoved into his sleeves, and pressing his guts back in. Trust me, the fur is in the, the fur is in front looks. Of course, but also he's missing most of the blood that he needs for staying warm too. Yeah, that. So cold, like Moore's embrace. If he could keep anything close to his chest, he's less <clears throat> bastard. Do you really want to taunt your own gods? Well, fucking, to be fair, Morris, frankly, quite regularly dropped the ball, and also his uh, church was the fast one to fall. If that doesn't make him look rather inferior, I don't know what does. I figure if he can smite me, he could have smote any of those undead, so... It's probably fine. Now, fucking get... Shalia, that's someone you want to keep on your side. I'm certain like this fight. Ulfric guy. He seems alright. <laughs> If you, main if you maintain a, a good and valorous heart and stand up to your enemies, he will respect you. Granted, he's not a fan of black powder. A shame that Ugh. stuff seems rather useful when you can't aim for fuck. Hey. 
You're not wrong. <laughs> still. <laughs> One of these days I'll set something with a not blunderbuss. That, fuck it. Where's the palace? We need to get back and make sure. We're, we're walking there. We're walking there. Keep the ice pack on. Keep the ice pack on your gut. It'll help you keep your innards in. <laughs> ice pack. <laughs> yeah, you know some street snow. <laughs> yeah. Nice, clean, healthy street snow. <laughs> I think it's just a water skin that's frozen over. I think that's what. It... Yeah, it's just wolf's water skin that he's wrapped around his sides like a belt. <laughs> hey. So long as it, it slows, so long as it slows the bleeding, you're better. Ah yes, penal ingenuity. <sighs> All right. No, I could tell you the story if you think that's bad. <laughs> I once had this. Uh, I never knew them. I never knew him personally. But uh, one of our neighbors, a few a few yards away, he had an uncle. <laughs> Greatest thing ever happened to him. And it was he was almost decapitated. <laughs> the only, oh the only parts of his neck that were still holding on were just some ten just some tendons and the bones in the back. <laughs> if he let go of his own head, he would have died immediately. But he held it up, but he held his but he had his hands on both sides of his head for four days until they got him to, until they got him to the seer to fix him. It was hilarious. Yeah, Gunner, that sure, sounds, sounds uh, like a real, uh, <laughs> real laugh and a half. What I'm getting at is, say it could be worse. They, Come on, I, I it could be you. worse. Fuck you. And the human, and the, <laughs> oh and the fuck! Has to and the body is really tough. <laughs> it's gonna just like backpedal. Say it just as Gunner says. It <clears> could be worse. Around the corner come a trio of Khazars with lanterns dangling from their poleaxes. We are guests of the Tsarina. We have a wounded. We are ne just coming through. Uh, yes, yes, you are the ones. Come with us. The Tsarina summons you. I've heard Great. that one <laughs> before tonight. Just, uh, let's just point the way. <laughs> come on, come on. We are informed that uh, someone may be trying to kill you. Oh, yeah, yeah some they, of your friends. They, really? <laughs> Fucking really? <laughs> oh, yeah, they did a pretty good job. Wolf spits up a big loogie of blood onto the ground. I mean, succeeded in killing you, just... It yet. appears they have not succeeded. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Let's let's just go. Come on, keep hobbling, keep hobbling. Somewhere preferably warm before he, you know, plays out. It's alright, I think all my wounds are frozen shut. If I thaw out, I might die. Yes, why do you think I told you to keep it cold? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure gangrene is a thing too. Right. Well, gonna... I mean, it's less it's less immediate than disembowelment. What do you think the What do you think the the key of us is for? I don't even know what that is. Alcohol. Okay, <laughs> you'll figure like, it out. I like that plan. Wolf's gonna follow along, but he's gonna have like what both of his hands like already in his coat sleeves are just on his guns now again. It's like, fucking try it, cocksuckers, I dare you. Sure, and if we pass, uh, are we, like, going back in through the, you know, the hall where all were drinking and making merry? Yep, but it appears now to be clear. Alright, if there's just, like, a bottle on a table, I will pluck it up, sniff it to make sure it doesn't smell of any kind of poison except for the kind that you drink on purpose, and then hand it off to Wolf. You know, Wolf. I got some kivas here that will probably do, that probably do you well. I think Wolf just pours it, like, on his wounds instead of drinking it. That makes sense. Fuck! Ah. wasn't actually poison. Alright, uh... 
please make a toughness test? Well, I'd rather make a toughness test now than a disease test later. Oh, oh, I'm really good at toughness, guys. Hold on. Check this shit out. Oh god, why? Yeah! That's better than yeah. that. Yeah! And... You? Good night, <laughs> sweet prince. Yeah, unfortunately, um... It was that's poison. a really painful way of doing it, so... Yeah, uh, enjoy your, um... Enjoy fainting, Wolf. Alright. I mean, have I... you ever poured peroxide on a wound? Yeah, sure, but also if you were afraid of dying of horrible, horrible infections because you've been packing street snow into your open disembowelment wound, I guess you would probably just be like, this is vodka, right? All right, go on the wound. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to chug it first so you Are don't you... feel it when you Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. He did... The problem is that he did it in the wrong order. <laughs> yeah. I mean, are you... I was about to say, are you kidding me? They don't drink... The good stuff isn't vodka. It's ever clear. <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> So, uh, but this is a bottle that was uh, gotten after everyone else um, had left, so it wasn't the good stuff anymore. That was all drunk. It's the shittiest swill in the royal palace. It's the while I'm in the middle of cleaning. Oh look, what's that on the table? Drink. Don't get me wrong; it's an important beverage, but. Trust me, we just need to get you some 190 proof. I'm afraid. Don't worry. Sweet, sweet unconsciousness has you safe now. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Nothing can hurt me here. Yet. Sorry. So yeah, Yelka, while you and not be count are, um... Having a quick cuddle, uh, the door is pounded on heavily. Oh, that was amazing. <sighs> uh, well, I think I'm gonna have to open to get out of bed. Quick, hide underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> get under the mattress, small woman. <laughs> no, no, no. Throw, throw a coat on, put a uh, lampshade on your head, and just pretend to be a short side table. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in lieu of all those glorious ideas, I open the door. All right. Are you naked? Uh, yes. Nice. Good answer. You are... <laughs> Confronted by a small squad of uh, Kislevite Cossars, who just all um, raise one eyebrow, then the other, then both at once. <laughs> turn their heads to the side and... Congratulations, yeah. you just made a scandal. <laughs> uh, can, can I help you gentlemen? The Tsarina summons Count Semyonovich. There is. Um, there has been an attempt on her life. Oh! 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 <laughs> Hands up in the air! Uh. Uh. What's a good. What, I, I want the naked chief to just like step over your shoulder like we've got this. <laughs> yes. I <laughs> Alright, I yeah, I'm gonna have to arouse him from his sleep. Honey, honey, honey. Yes. No more male bear. I've had enough licks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He's not the male. He's not the the commissioner of mail or whatever that guy's rank was. That's my friend. Yeah. And male bear's my friend. <laughs> Everyone loves male bear. Male bear is glorious. Uh. 
<laughs> sweet cinnamon ball, <laughs> sweet cinnamon roll, too sweet for this world. Uh, honey, duty calls. Give me an idiot <sighs> back up. <laughs> Not that kind of. She's asking for round five. Your oath. Damn you, dwarves, oh. you're gonna kill me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, why do I always have to be busy the night of these parties? Why, why can't someone just for once not commit to reason? Is that <laughs> so hard to ask? He gets up and uh, starts getting dressed. Uh... Eh, well, I got nothing better to do. I guess I get dressed as well. Wait, is anyone streaming this? Hi. Yeah, Steven is. Really? It's not. It's not showing up on my Twitch. That's because Twitch is a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, that's your band. Twitch represent. All right, um, so I. It's definitely few minutes... How queer. I suppose a few minutes later, uh, Count. Semyonovich and Yolka also arrive in the, um, <clears throat> the main hall. Do I wake up from the smell of evil? I think it's less evil and more a gross misunderstanding. You say that. Well, they I can mean, be one the same. Depending on your take of lesbianism. <laughs> I mean... That'll I definitely mean, wake Wolf up. So good. So <laughs> very good. <laughs> we can have a very serious discussion after this. So... Sorry I got you raped by a queen, but... <laughs> good. Sorry you caused a brand new sexual awakening for her. I mean, I'm not sorry about that, but... It's not only that. Now you can use that. You get to see other people while you're still in a relationship with Amy because she has practically done it. She's literally done it. Yeah, there's no practical uh, yeah. about it. Fuck. Yes. I mean, it was very... <laughs> I've seen your master plan. Yes, now you understand. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you did all this just to get more tail. Yes. I should have known. Yes. yes, I did. I'm just setting the mood for the count there. Anyway, back to the, oh, the question. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a very uh, dwarven way to wake up. <laughs> yes, you will indeed uh, awaken as ah. just as Jolka is rushing over to you. Is she dressed now? Yes, yeah, she's dressed. Okay. Yes. Aww. I mean, okay. You don't have the blood to spend on that. <laughs> it's, it's true. true. The direction might die. kill you at this point. <laughs> Help, the leftover blood is in my heart, but it wishes it were in my penis. I am experiencing a level of clarity never before experienced. <laughs> when you're incapable. <laughs> I'd see a wolf will jerk up again, spit up some more blood. Oh, fuck. Oh, everything hurts. <laughs> The count approaches. Gunner just Gunner just plants his axe on the ground and just stares at him. Uh, Gunner. Oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm just keeping watch. Okay. I'm just gonna go find Amy now. Sure. Let me lend your hand. Thanks, Mom. Ah, oh, fuck, I am like a mother, ain't I? Yes, sir. You've been my mom forever. Come on. Uh. Is there any alcohol to give Wolf? <laughs> Don't. It's not safe. Don't do it. He'll just pour more of it on himself again. I, I was going to actually just stick it straight in his mouth. Yeah, no, it's like if I see someone go for a bottle, they're like, no, he can't be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> no, this Fucking is how we mean our kids. Spoken. 
<laughs> no, this is how dwarves weed their kids. This is Don't true. Put up. <laughs> glug, glug, motherfucker. Oh, dear. Oh, God. And the arch door opens and in through several more Khazars, holding between them a humanoid icicle. Alright, hey, fuck. It's me from another universe. <laughs> another hoodoo what? Don't worry about it. It's from a book I read. Alright. You read a book? Well, Jeez. damn. No, he hasn't. Well, damn, it seems like I missed some fun here. Alright, who's the sculpture? Wait, didn't we pass uh... that guy in the street? Why is Vizarina's personal bodyguard dead? Fuck if I know. Hmm? Which one? Who? Semyonovich will point at the Iceman. Uh... That... Do you think any of us have the, have the kind of power to do that? I wish. At this stage, I have no idea. All right. I... How about a fresh recap here? A couple of uh, thuggish-looking Kossar blokes who look very much like the people that are surrounding Mr. Freezy over there came along to my good pal here, Wolf, and had them walk away. For some reason, he couldn't tell that they were obviously making very menacing looks at him, so I followed along, and then they tried to fucking gut him. Uh, and then a fight happened, and then they did gut him, and ran away with the body so that they could dump him in the river, and then I came back with my pal Gunner here, and we kicked their fucking asses. I'm pretty sure one of them's dead, one of them was probably bleeding when we left. And then we came right back here, because Wolf's wife has gone, well, missing. Yeah, Indeed. That. So, we're kind of wondering entirely... What the fuck is going on here? I don't know you're Mr. Freezy, however, but I'm gonna assume your queen, who can turn people to fucking ice, probably did it. I'm fine, thanks for asking. Also, yes, could one of you please bring a fucking doctor? A priestess, someone? How about my wife, who's a priestess? Yes. Indeed, where is she? My question. <clears throat> One of the Khazars will give a slight cough. <clears throat> the Zarina is... She is with the Zarina. Oh, okay, good. fair enough. I'm gonna just not say anything about that because it doesn't sound like a good idea. You know, so, whose fucking idea was it to assassinate her husband? Wolf just kind of glares at the guy who's in charge of all the <laughs> cossers. <laughs> Squint. How about we just have a couple drinks and then calm down a bit so we can talk about nah, this? Nah, kind of still, like, really too pissed off for that. I could use I... a drink. Can we trust you with a drink? No. So then, Mr. Count Semyonovich. Many what's idea. actually going on here? He will give a slow, measured look at the lot of you. Well, you will really expect me to believe that the elite palace guard tried to kill and disembowel your friend and not succeed? Look, I'm oh. really good at not dying, alright? I made it through two fucking wars, let me tell you. And oh, I'm they particularly good was Gunner. Oh, he was perfectly disemboweled. Very fine work. But he's... Work? Yeah, he's still kicking. To be fair, one of those uh, random traitorous bodyguards is actually still alive. Uh, because yeah, he was still... left pissed in his fucking panty pants. So if you would like, you can probably hunt him down. Uh, and Espo will give a vague description about just making it sound like a racist assumption of he was tall, Russian, white, and beardy. <laughs> Which will actually give a real description. Oh, he has a friend that's missing. He has a friend that's missing both ears. I did shoot off both of his friend's ears, yes, and probably exploded the back of his brain. Yeah, there's a chance he's still alive. Maybe. 
I feel like admitting to any of this is a bad idea, but okay. I mean, to be fair, we're in a perfectly shit position as it is, so all the honesty sounds like a pretty good idea here. Yeah, that's what town guards always say. Sure, but town guards don't tend to, like, disembowel you, Wolf. True, we're not Valroy. <laughs> or <laughs> Okay. Oh, fuck Thomas, no. if, you, if you'll understand this, we just came here because we are invited. And everything that led up to this point was, as far as we can understand, a violation of hospitality. So, he disappeared, we went hunting for them, they had their weapons drawn, things happened, we're back here, he's alive, you're fine, the Corsars are quite angry, and there's an Iceman. You originally asked us about the Iceman. Sure. Uh, we don't know how to make ice people. Um, Wolfram, have you Wolf checked with your queen? Wolfram's never. Wolfram is a soldier, never experienced with northern magic. Yoka, who I'm very certain you are, are very aware of, is a dwarf. That elf I've never seen use a spell. And I'm fairly certain I cannot use magic. <laughs> fairly certain I can. School's still out on that one. Pretty sure you did magic before. Might want to check with that whole Ulrich priesthood thing. <laughs> Pretty sure you worked some magic on uh, Asgardia. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Stop laughing. No. <laughs> Everything's funny. <laughs> That's just the blood I was talking. <laughs> the alcohol's finally hit his bloodstream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Direct injection. <laughs> He's just walking mainline it. I've got a new way to get drunk, guys. <laughs> your blood is currently... You have so little blood that your blood is currently tra attempting to take any fluid coming into your body, including alcohol, to dilute the blood to at least keep it flowing. Yeah, that sounds about right. Back up, lad. You know, alcohol. Like in Kislev. <laughs> I'm a proper Kislevite now. I have vodka blood. Wolf will begin drinking vodka. So long as so long as the Tetris theme doesn't start playing in your head like a background. <sighs> Wolf just starts squatting for no reason. Well, no, probably just because it's really hard to keep standing with your guts. Yeah, that like too. The current situation. There are chairs. I know. I know. Sure, it's but wouldn't chance. sitting down really fucking hurt with your? Uh, you know, Everything hurts, no matter what. That's a good point. So yeah, we'll just sit down. Alright. Seriously, though. Uh, whenever someone can find me my wife, who is a cleric lady, I would appreciate it. It's gonna sit here and slowly die until then. Alright, die quietly now. Alright. Thanks, Gunner. As for, for saving me, appreciate it. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Anytime. Wolf will just like thumbs up and then just like <laughs> slump. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, uh, Gunnar just pull just pulls out some of his southern moves. Thirsty. Hey, the count's not here. I won't tell if you don't. Uh, we are on duty. We which means you have got a four drink minimum, right? <laughs> yeah. Smart uh, for an elf. I try from time to time. So he's gonna be passing around some of that good quality mead that he picked up. Yeah, I'm gonna stay sober for now in case shit gets exceptionally real once more. No, no, you don't understand. The iron livers of the Norsemen, are just a few drinks each, is just keeping you warm. Yeah, no. Uh, in my case, though, I'm uh, I'm not drinking because uh, <laughs> I do not, not have the iron liver of the Norseman, and I still suspect that shit might go badly. I'm not like you people what swing around weapons. I need to aim and shoot. Uh, not conducive. Wolf just, like, half-consciously holds up his blunderbuss, just like, here you go. No, no, no. You have I'll not use that. Yeah, that yeah, is, no. That, that, that is uh... not... Man, that is not a cup. 
<laughs> starting to drink out of a blunderbuss. A fucking battle! It still tastes like shrapnel and gunpowder. That is shrapnel and gunpowder. Hey! Ah, oh, good. I didn't load it with shrapnel beforehand. <laughs> Thank goodness it was shrapnel and not shrapnel. <laughs> So, upstairs, uh, Amy, uh, you are being taught many of the wonders of ice magic. Nice. Oh god. The queen can make icy dildo. And I massive... see where this is going. Massive icy strapple. It's like that one Oglev comment. Do not mm. worry, it will melt quickly enough to stay lubricated. <laughs> it has surprisingly low melting point. Trust me, it is fun. Every personal guard must endure this. <laughs> <laughs> the frost burn. It is how we endure the cold. We have the death frost and the depth thrust. The depth frost. <laughs> Yeah. Kind of busy at the moment, I can't really take notes. And, uh, then the door is just pushed open, and, uh, man you saw Yolka with, uh, earlier at the ball steps in. You do speak, Kislevite, don't you, Amy? Yes. Duh. Sublime Highness, would you forgive my intrusion and please uh, his gaze turns to you with a look of disdain and almost disgust. You're a bit warmer. Could you perhaps uh, permit me a minute without your new concubine? I think she will be happy to stay, will you not? Yes. Uh, I mean, yes, yes. Yes, you have this. Sublime Highness. I believe there has been a series of catastrophic mistakes. Which not mistakes. only which not only have led to the death of several of your soldiers, eh, this woman's husband is been injured. What? She is she is needed to take care of him. I need to go. I have to go. I had hoped that the soldiers would find him before whatever conspiracy struck. Be my guest. Can I make a roll to see if she's telling the truth here? I mean, there, there is no possibility she's the one who's behind all of this, is there now? You can go ahead and uh, roll perception. Oh fuck! Good job. <laughs> nice. Yeah, how double pregnant is Amy right now with the uh, ice balls? Uh, Vizarina does not have the capability of impregnating someone. Oh no, no, no! It's like off a position, but with rather large hailstones. Yeah, haven't you ever seen a uh, a sphere of ice? Hold on, let me just. Open up my, uh... No, 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 uh, maybe later. Mm. We don't want to see how it, what it takes to make Frosty the Snowman come. <laughs> Alright. She seems a little hurt and 
very disappointed. Oh. I'll make no comment on that. Okay. And also more than a little bit blue. Be in mind. Dropping everything and going after the help wolf. Do you put on clothes? Then I run back into the room to grab my robes. Um... There may be some snowflakes. <laughs> sure. This is how Panic Daily would be. That makes sense. This is fair. So, yeah. You rush off, opposed to get to talk in private. Uh -huh. uh, Amy, or is it an angel? I can't tell. All right, fucking keep the flirting on a minimum. She's coming. That's what she said. It might have been. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, hi, Amy. Hi. I missed you. I'll just like put his head on your belly and hug you. Amy will just immediately go to hug you. Uh, <gasps> squeeze too hard, he dies. <laughs> it's okay, I only oh. got a little bit murdered. No, no. Uh, uh, just stand perfectly still. Uh, can I sit still? Don't, don't move. Okay. You're perfect. Just, just sit there. Okay. Uh, let's see if we're still channeling. Okay. Ah, uh, maybe. Nope. The fuck? I don't worry about it. No, you're rolling like... a zero. Seems legit. Completely legit, don't worry about it. We do kind of worry about it. Yeah, Fine. but... Do you not have channeling trained? Nope. I still Don't hit do. the button regardless. That's... How? That is... That's a priest thing. I prioritize. <laughs> over amassing the biggest amount of useless spells. Excellent. See, I haven't prioritized it straight. You don't get healed. So... Oh, you do get healed. Excellent. I get a hit point. Thank you. And then you get more Before heals. you can start casting spells, you must meet four criteria. You must have a magic characteristic of one or more. You must know the channeling skill. Oh. God damn it, Amy. <laughs> okay, then. Let me remove this... This fuck remove blessing of fortitude real quick. <laughs> now I have channeling. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Fine. Dad, you're meant Step to be one of the people who knows how this game works. I, I never played a fucking wizard before. I just stabbed people with a rapier until I got my fucking head chopped off the first time. Okay, fair. Second but... time I got thrown into a slave ship. And got my left eye torn out. Fun times. Oh, damn. Also, I'm fairly certain everyone should have died in the campaign before now, but, you know. I don't think I took that much It's damage. too late now. It's too late. We're all with it. Fucking... It's fine. Okay. Those fuckers in the tomb were feeling particularly generous at that point. Okay, so the director is shuffling the papers on his script, and we continue. <laughs> you actually healed him. You did a heal. It didn't no. take, like, three fucking rolls. Fine. Gonna take wool. 
put some actual clean cloths over his wounds after cleaning them myself. Something that is not gonna be. It's something that will actually clean poison. the wounds. Yes. Still <gasps> fucking fermented bread. What is wrong with you people? It wasn't uh, fermented bread, it was snow. That's even worse! No, no, it was clean. Well, was. Well, as clean ah! as fucking street snow can get, I suppose. Look, well, you, I made well, sure it wasn't stuff. near where any huskies lived. Okay, I feel like my guts aren't gonna fall out now. A so, market improvement? Uh, how, many hit points, how many hit points does Wolf have? Four. I pull out a little red potion. Drink this. Uh, oh yeah, when you're at full health, you're able to actually take healing drops, right? Drink it. See, hold on, I got my own. Reference. I got my own, I got my own. Do I not... Mean... Do not rub snow on open wounds. Oh, no, no, it wasn't... A... It was just to slow the bleeding. It was fine. It's not fine. It's like rubbing dirt on your knee. Is that not what you're supposed to do? No, it's not. I, I, I asked the Cossars, if you want to slow your bleeding, do you put snow on it? If you don't have a proper doctor, da. See? They're not medical experts. Have I'll you, have so you know, I fought uh, through two wars, and yes. rubbing dirt yes, in it is just fine. Yes, honey. I'm sure you've served dirt. These are all ro logical, rational men. Snow. He's wounded. He has lost all the right. right He doesn't know what he's talking about. Amy, Let's, I love you. Uh, <laughs> uh, at least he's got that going for him. Fucking charming bastard. So, what's the situation here, Amy? Are you okay? Did there weird shit uh, happen on your end besides uh, stuff that should probably go unmentioned? Well, this is... This is someone tried to poison the arena. What? Oh. Or me, at least. They're definitely trying to poison me. I'm not sure if they would actually poison the Zarina, because we spilled the drinks before anything happened. Huh. So it might have been an attempt on the Zarina, and you got in the way, or vice versa? Yes. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. A lot of things have happened. That sounds really convenient. A lot of things have happened. A lot of things that shouldn't have Wait. happened. Somebody tried to fucking kill Amy. Who? Where? Let me at him. Let me at him. Oh, don't. don't Shut don't. up. It's fine. There, uh... Wait, is that what Mr. Iceman over there is for? Oh, y yes. All right. That was him. The Queen handled him. Yeah, Fucking that's quite handy. Sure. Wait, horrifying. she's a wizard. Yeah, sure. Queen's like the super wizard of all ice. I was about to say, how you know you that heard? part of this palace that's actually just a great big icicle? I'm pretty sure she made it, right? I was about to say, <laughs> how look you... at the gods. Oh. I was about to say, haven't you ever heard her epithet, the White Queen of the North? Uh. Look, I didn't really do my research when I came here. Uh, I just researched the market. Sure, went well. Yeah, no, old fucking tale. And it's not just because I have a vested interest in powerful Russian women before anyone says anything. Yeah, no, of course, of course not. Who, who would think something like that? I, I look at the I look at the Cossars and just throw my hands up. They didn't know the stories. It was yes, horrifying. she's she's the one who made like the whole palace all icy and stuff. I mean, that sounds kind of cool, honestly. But I'm cool. Tish. <laughs> of course, that's somebody that. got it. All right. This, this is not oh. the time to be making puns. I feel it's not like the it time is. for jokes. Amy, I'm a dad now. It's always time for puns. By the way, I made a great pun when I found him. No, no, that was terrible. We went looking for him. My God says wolf hunts are sacred. So we oh, were successful no. because we're hunting down a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one was, it was real, it was a real punishment. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. You're not taking this nearly as serious as I was, 
as I would expect any of you to take it. Well, oh. to be fair, we're kind of incredibly out of our depth here and waiting mm -hmm. for maybe their count Mr. Secret Police to probably try and do away with us or something because someone this else is a close, fucked this us is a up. Close. You, you remember that time when vampires tried to take over the Empire and almost murdered us and all uh, that shit we, happened? It's like that. We just can't really do anything about it. We're surrounded by armed men who should could be mentioning in the middle of a They life. fucking know. Well, if they speak. don't know, they should know. We should be telling well, everybody. Well, we speak so, I kind of owe myself not to, so yeah, I'm not going to stop you guys, but... In fact, why haven't we written the Inquisitor lady that made Gunner walk over hot coals? Uh, because, you know, the whole fucking city itself is under attack from malicious forces right now, so, you know, they actually can't do shit about it. It would lynch us! Who's they? You know, people who deal with that shit? I don't know. Well, no, I, I meant from... It, look, it, it doesn't matter. What I'm saying is, we're surrounded by scary armed men. There's nothing we can really do right now, but just wait. So we're trying to joke to increase some, some levity here. Also, to take my mind off the horrible pain of my guts being ripped out. You're fine, you big baby. Will it help if you stop moving so much? No, I, I, I twitch when I'm nervous. And that's the problem right there. Well, maybe if twitching. I had a beautiful young woman sitting on my lap to hold me tight. Come uh, on, if she sat in your lap, she'd just fucking squish out your any bits. <laughs> oh, hey, Yalka, look at your boyfriend. Oh, hey. Counts. He has a boyfriend? Oh, but we believe we have found the cause of these incidents. That's good. Let's see, maybe I could understand that. And he's saying this in the rank spiel. Oh. Alright. And what would the verdict be? Uh, several of my agents have been compromised by a traitor um, who attempted to use them and you to assassinate her sublime highness. Wait, use us? Huh? Or no. For what, like a smokescreen? Oh, we, we were just going to take the fall for it, okay. Right. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. Who's the blame? Wait, is it that fucking Boar, the guy from the trading? What? No, he... All, that was just a business deal. Sure, except it was a business deal that put us, you know, in range of the Tsarina as outsiders. It's like a long distance calculating looking wolf size. No, I made a lot of money off that guy. Sure, but I imagine he makes a lot more off of whatever nefarious shit he's doing. Probably it's cheaper to, you know, pay us and get us to this party than it is to, you know, fucking pay for, like, legitimate assassins and shit. Assassins would be, you know, willing to do this. Hmm. I don't know, Mr. Uh, Count. Would you say that this is a reasonable assumption or not? In the dead, I would. We, by order of Her Sublime Highness, let Boyar Grigory of Sustel be seized and put to death for high treason. All right. Shouldn't you ask questions before the death part? I am great at asking questions. But before uh, that happens, let me just roll perception here. I want to see if, uh, see if this guy is just like, you know, throwing this guy under the bus here. Or old Instead story. of scapegoating for just a mistake that occurred. Yep, pretty much. I, that's that seems like a thing a politician would do. Oh yeah, totally. Nope, no idea. And I don't care hard enough. <clears throat> They're all assholes in my mind now. And I am the only person who didn't, you know, get get face deep in Kislev. 
I mean, technically Wolf did when he was forced face first into Kislev. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, Gunnar didn't do certain... any action either. Oh, I'm fairly certain that uh, Gunnar, that uh, Wolf got very, very intimate with the local flora, fauna, and environment. And honestly, I wouldn't count Gunnar out yet for, you know, scarring before this night is out. Wolf will just look at all of the male costars around the room, just look at Gunner and say, I mean, hey, that's how he does it. <laughs> I, just look, I just look behind me. Fingers just uh, kind of <laughs> wrap on the axe handle. <laughs> sure, actually, to be fair, yes, he did entirely get a different kind of action. Yeah, all right, whatever. Uh... So, uh, that was, uh, that was fun. Can we, uh, can we go, or, uh... Indeed, if it would be, uh, assassination attempt free, it'd be kind of nice to, um, like, fucking sleep. Yeah, I'd, I'd appreciate somewhere to sleep, and, you know, nice, nice meal, some, some water, you know, replace Send all the blood me. I lost. Semyonovich will uh, just glance at the Tsarina and uh, yes, uh, we will provide you uh, meals uh, if you wish. You may chamber at the palace or return to your lodgings in the city. I think I'm going to head back to the my place, or our other place, especially since all my stuff is there, and it felt weird using ours that weren't mine, and I will pointedly hand those off to uh, Gunner with a quick thanks. What am I doing? I'm giving you the uh, arrows you lent me. Uh, there are seven now instead of eight. Uh, One of them exploded in the guy's head. Uh, uh, exploded? Sure, I shot him so hard in the back of his head that it uh, fucking blew to pieces inside his noggin and probably smashed the shit out of his brain. I'm pretty sure he took my uh, own cheek. Really? Huh. I guess maybe. Well, what was left of it? Anyway, I'd rather not walk all the way back to wherever we were staying, so I'll, I'll just stay here if no one minds. Sure. Alright. Um... It would be much better to get you in the bed. That's what I was fucking trying to do before I fucking got stabbed in the stomach with a bardiche or whatever the fuck. Vulture. Well, okay. Whatever. Fucking guy Gaxian bastards. Oh, what? It's like. I mean, it's like it's what's a... in your pants, but with a V. <laughs> uh, it's it's a it's a Bretonian word for someone who's obsessed with pole arms. Surely that's all Bretonian men. Exactly. And then I will, uh. And I post up for a high five with the Kislevite. Uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure one of the Kazars will return it. Good, I'm sure if they nothing... appreciate a good old fashioned how Brett's a gay joke. If nothing, if nothing else, just because this is an awkward situation and they're just doing it to appease you. Yep. Uh, prepare uh, chambers for uh, Mr. Wolf. That will not be necessary. Good minister. Oh. Very well, Sublime Highness. No. I know. Don't trust it. You're so dead. <laughs> no. Is this no. the real reason why you needed uh, a fresh character rolled up by Savin? Because he, we would actually succeed on saving him, but inevitably he would accept the offer and then die in bed. 
<laughs> yep, this, this is how I go out. Just turn into an ice On top or under. I don't know. Either way. No, he gets turned into a, he gets turned into a snowman with and all they'd see when they wheel him out of the castle is just him on all fours in a gaping hole where his ash should be. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a snowman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. Oh lord. There's worse ways to die. Oh yes, the gate could be even bigger. <laughs> well, they always said I'd go out on the gaping dragon, but uh, I didn't think it'd be that boss. I didn't think it'd be that literal. <laughs> to get rid of you, this arena is pulling out the big one. It's the size of the ogres. <laughs> oh god, so how did Kiro get here? Uh, a couple of the uh, palace guards will escort Amy and Wolf and the Tsarina up to Fade to Black territory. And by Fade to Black territory, I mean the Tsarina will insist the two of you take her bed while she sits and reads. <laughs> Ow, is... that's surprisingly quaint. Yes. As it is a very large, very comfortable bed, and presumably a, a good place to uh, sleep off near death. That makes sense. Make them sure he is not bleeding on that. I would never. Sniff, sniff. Besides, I think you've already soiled the sheets here. Enough for both of us. Good. He's just asking for death. I don't get it. <laughs> don't understand. <laughs> he just craves death. I'm going to play an ice witch now. <laughs> Hurt me, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to discuss this. What is wrong We're with you? Discuss this later. Here. Sleep, sleep on your back with this pillow on your face. <laughs> Seriously, what is wrong with you? Too many things to list at the moment. Oh, God. So, yeah, uh, the other three of you, I assume, are going back to the town. Yep. Yeah, sure. yeah that's where yeah. all my stuff is. Fuck, he's not wrong. Wolf, I... like, almost <laughs> dies on the walk upstairs. <laughs> Only for the grace of uh, Amy's uh, healing magic. This is and not then... the time, nor the place. No, 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 guys, guys, guys. The, reason, the reason why she let you take the bed first is because then she's going to step out of the wardrobe in uh, tall black stilettos, complete leather, and, um, yeah... A horse, a horse crop. <laughs> she will make you call her daddy. Okay. And you will go willingly into that sweet, a sweet bear Marianne. crop. Okay. A bear crop. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. You're no longer. You are no longer the father of that child. I am. I am your daddy now, fucko. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus, take the wheel. Hey, Zeus. Jesus wants no part of that. I feel like that's correct. Anyway, yep, I, I feel like we've uh, spoiled the fade to black here, so. Completely. And naturally. Mm. The fade to black is just a fade to sleep, I know. I'm afraid. I know. Uh, so, yeah, um... Oh, that's cool. Yolta, oh my... you actually want to go back with Semyonovich? No, no, that was that was a pick. Good, goodbye. I should not be on this website. It is dangerous for me. Where is are it you? Amazon? No, this is why I'm broke. Oh. A, com a combination toaster oven, griddle, and coffee pot. Are you kidding me? Oh my... Oh, those are on Amazon for, like, super cheap, too. Oh, it's... It 
I saw them yeah. years ago. They look awesome. They look amazing. If I had a spot in my room and and not be in horrible debt, uh, I would actually probably buy one. I was about to say that would be great for space saving. Are you kidding like, me? Oh yeah, yes. I just have it here. No, over there on top of my where a um, sewing table. I have a sewing table. I could put it on top of the sewing table, and that's where I would uh, have it. Cool. The place for bacon. Oh. Ooh, uh, they yeah, also, they, sell, they also sell tiny functional cannons. Uh, would you maybe like to look at that after the stream? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I Me think and my brother were trying so hard to get one. Anyway, I think, I think Snip would love a tiny functional cannon. So, yeah, we'll mm -hmm. move on to the next morning. Um, start with uh, Ezra, Gunnar, Yolka. Anything I, any of you want to do today? Uh, uh, let's see here. I am basically broke. I am an elf and professional only at doing elf things. Uh, however, I have time to myself. I'm gonna go look around for work, I suppose, something to do. Uh, all right. I'm gonna guess does anyone need uh does anyone need me to do anything? Sure, if there are work orders I can't speak a fucking lick of Kislevite. I can read friendly and be good, but I don't know that language. If you could lend a hand, that'd be dandy. Yeah, I do speak Kislevite. Yeah, I do speak Kislevite, so I could help you there. Yeah, that'd be great. I need a hand to, uh, you know, actually getting the work. And if it happens to be Skull Bashy, I'm sure you'd appreciate the chance to bash more Skull. Yeah, I, I'll probably have to join in too. I, I, I also cannot speak a word to Kiss the Bite, so it would be right. very boring. Yeah, let's so, go look for work. <laughs> Gonna, would you like to roll gossip? Okay. Any bonuses or negatives? I can help with gossip, but I you know, don't have the language, so I don't know. Yeah, you you would need to have um speak Kizzlebite here as well as gossip. Such a shame, I finally have gossip and I've gotten to use it all at once and it didn't go very well. I mean, nope. Hey. Oh well. You it was worth it in the dark. You ask around, um... Oh, also, everyone refresh all your fortune points. Oh, thank fuck. And, Let's see yeah, um... <laughs> yeah, Gunnar, you don't find out about any interesting work. There are a couple of mundane jobs in your skill sets, like... Uh, Ezra might be able to get... Uh, a little bit of uh, pocket cash uh, helping people uh, skin and prepare animals. You and Yolka might be able to you know, just get some some extra by uh, manual labor, but it's oh, no uh, real adventurer work right now. There, if he's still in town, I need to speak to the magistrate of Pinsk. Uh, I mean, it's only the morning after the ball, I... Uh, because oh. he w he told me that he is willing to get me papers so that I may legally search Gustavus Stahl's property. Uh, yeah, that was, um... That was the Boyar of Pinsk, but, yeah. You know, they're, um... It's, it's only... The next day, uh, he's still here. So I guess I speak to him about. Wait, is he the one who betrayed us? No. no. A different player. Never mind, carry on. Ah! Mr. Redman. Yep. 
You said that you're willing to give me paper, so I may search Mr. Stull's property. Yes, yes, I've, uh, I've heard of us drawn up. Uh, here you are. The magistrate ought to have the key. Uh, um, well, if you find the evidence that Mr. Stahl is deceased, uh, please do write to me. He has no legal heirs, so uh, his property would become uh, property of the, uh, the government. Wonderful. I appreciate that, and anything in, anything inside would also be coming to the government if it does if it does not belong to me. Yes, yes. If, if he has stolen your inheritance, as you say, uh, please, uh, we will not, we cannot it would be dishonorable stand in the way of you reclaiming it. I appreciate this. Is there anything I need to do with this? Sign it or anything? Uh, no, no, just show it to the magistrate when you arrive. Very well. I appreciate your help in this matter. Ah, please. It is, uh... It is no great effort on my behalf. But know that it is appreciated nonetheless. Uh, with that, I think that's your business with him concluded, right? Unless he wants me to fuck his wife, then no. I mean, then yeah. That, uh, that offer does not come up, no. I figured it would. <laughs> we appear to have lost Scout. This is actually perfect timing because I keep talking and the alarm's going off, but you can't hear it. It's great. We did hear it once. Damn. Honk. Jesus, the window's closed and I think it's louder than usual. No, it doesn't want to do it again. There we go. Scow, are you back? Yeah, my internet randomly cut out. Oh dear. It's okay, it appears to be back and working. It was a nice, quick disconnect at least. Alright. So, then we're going to uh, move across to Wolf and Amy in the palace. Don't die again. No promises. Uh, when the morning comes and the two of you will wake, you see the Zarina as still sat where she was uh, when you drifted off. Uh, though, uh, it looks like she's likely dozing. Oh. Uh, part of me feels guilty for this. Considering it's Amy, it's probably a pretty big part. 
two big voluptuous parts. Maybe. Feeling any better? Is saving even here? Well, you just made a roll. Yeah, so. I'm here. I'm here. I was just trying to decide if Wolf was gonna try and uh, do something, but he he doesn't. He's not that smart. Well, rather than rather than respond, he he just tries to get a stiffy. <laughs> Pretty much. No. I mean, Sounds also right. that, but I mean, there's some intense morning wood waking up in this particular bed. But, nevertheless, Wolf will sort of groan and try not to stretch yep. and say, yeah, I'm, I'm alright. I'm alright. That's great. Whew. That, uh, that was fun. You alright, Amy? I mean, I, I'm not the one who got almost <laughs> Disemboweled. So yeah, I'd say well, I'm doing I mean, pretty well. Yeah, but you got a little passenger to worry about, so. No. Worry about me. I'm a grown woman. I can take care of myself. I know. Never doubted it for a moment. And so still, can you. glad you're all right. Hopeful. Give her a kiss. I'll still kiss you back. Oh. And then Tasha will belch in my face. Yes, she will. Adorable. <laughs> and the Empress is just standing there awkwardly with a cup of coffee and a bagel. I mean, I feel like at that point we'll just warming Amy up for her, but. You still hit my bed. Your Highness. Oh. So sorry Good we brought morning. this trouble to you. Oh no, I do not apologize. Your sacrifices of unveiled a traitor. Happy to help. It's uh, what we do. Uh, this is this is not at all how I expected to spend my evening. Eh, you and me both, sweetheart. You and me both. Yeah. I've never been in a palace before. And the one time I did enter one, someone tried to kill me. I've I should respond sometimes. Distant Nordic laughs. <sighs> so what do we do now? Yeah, is there a... If you wish, you could remain here. At least until your wounds are fully healed. Well, uh, that's a hard offer to turn down. She just wants you for your woman's body. That's okay. It's, that's it's what I want her for, too. I, I, I'm willing to make that sacrifice. <laughs> it's uh, a very generous offer, but I do not wish to impose upon you. Ooh. Indeed, perhaps uh, there's something we could do to uh, help root out this conspiracy. We have some uh, minor expertise with such things, uh, much to our detriment. <laughs> it's only fair that we try to repay you for your hospitality. You all already have. Given how close that uh, you all both came to death, I would not 
I would not ask you to do such. Oh, you don't have to ask, just... You know. If there is anything you happen to mention that needs doing while we're here, it might happen to get done, that's all I'm saying. Wolf is, as he's saying this, just like trying to get out of bed. Slowly creaking out. Melee's gonna slowly help him off. I'm okay. Alright, alright. Just. Just a little stiff. A little stiff. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Zarini could say that. I think yeah. everyone can see this at this point. What's happening? Wolf's massive Sorry, erection. <clears throat> you do realize that you're, the queen is more likely to just turn that into a nice cycle crime. It's okay, then I can fuck her woman with it. Acceptable losses. Oh, it's a carabiner and a grappling hook. That's cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm on a dangerous website again. The only thing I would ask of you is that you avoid such injury in the future. Your wife is a beautiful woman and would be heartbroken to lose you, I am sure. That is a request I am most eager to uh, fulfill. Woeful, just like give Amy a little shoulder squeeze. I do hope that uh, this has not over much spoiled your view of my nation and my peoples. Oh god, no, this is still infinitely better than the Empire as we left it. It was, uh. Whew. You'd be very surprised how often people. Well, not. Not necessarily people, but the locations we go to have things that try to kill us. Yeah, conspiracies, vampires, undead, you know. Orcs. Beastmen. Goblins. Beastmen, yeah, you can't forget the beastmen. Thank God for the Imperial Army. <laughs> anyway, suffice to say that, no, your country nevertheless has left a... Uh, most favorable impression on us. Uh, not least of which it's a uh, beautiful and magnanimous ruler. Well... I am pleased to hear that. You should give If you do wish to stay, you are welcome here. And I am sure that uh, the Shalian mission would be well served by your presence, Amelia. It would be an honor. Wait, did you just offer the two people with a burgeoning family a legit-ass retirement? Yes. I may have done. Okay. Just just making sure. So I what mean... is it that you wanted to play, uh, Snippy? Well, initially, I was really thinking about the flagellum, but th no. no, the flagellum would not be here. You guys, you, no, just no flagellum. 
So I'm going to have to think on this for a second. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Wolf would not mind retiring. He has his one measly fortune point and uh, plenty of uh, money to set up his little merchant business. So uh, I'll, I'll leave it up to you, Snippy, if you want to take the take the retirement option the Zarina is handing you for uh Bruh. it's it's a really legit offer and I would not blame you for taking up on it yeah we it does come yes. with implicit uh relations but I mean I feel like that's only a boon yeah I don't see the downside to that <laughs> Indeed, technically you would help operate as the Serena's beard by, you know, your wife that can produce babies and stuff, you know, yeah. not raising weird queries. And also, you know, having my baby grow up in the capital of a powerful nation that is safe and... Not on fire. Yeah, and also yes. have the Zarina as basically a godmother. I feel that would be a pretty big deal. Oh my god, your mom would be so proud. <laughs> I know, oh, so right? You get the <laughs> so Fuck you, mom! I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, man, man, oh man. Oh yes, you also get to do the eye switch thing. Make a lot more sense while we we're still in kiss love. Yeah, yeah, I, I do. In fact, have an eye switch uh, all rolled up. I so I will say, Gunnar will miss you if. You do do this, but I can't stop you. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's a very great character, but also Wolf is in his like forties in uh, in in these uh, semi medieval times uh, with a yeah. young pregnant wife, and he is reliably caught to death multiple times and burned through nearly all of his fate as an adventurer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can only cheat death. So much. Yeah, I mean, he gets one more. He gets one more death cheat, and he might need that for if he, like, slips in the bath. <laughs> so, I, yeah, but this is sounding like you're wanting to do it. Wait, are you guys serious? We're staying. Alright. Bruh, seriously? Uh-huh. I'll be damned. I, mean, I feel like Amy's most kind of semi expected this. Yeah. Amy would yeah. not want to risk her baby or her husband anymore. I I half expected it, but I really wasn't sure. Um, so we're going to lose a healer. It's okay. You'll get a it's DPS okay. machine now. It's fine. Who needs? Besides, we have a healer now. Gunner. I am not a healer. <laughs> you can revive people. Yeah, I tell you, oh, you are. are. Can I tell you what that spell is? Me putting my hand on your shoulder and saying, bitch, it's not as bad as you think it is. <laughs> sometimes that's all you need. It is. It is literally sometimes all you need. Say. So, wow. Um... I um, assume that at some point you're going to want to give the rest of the party this news. You're not just going to vanish unexpectedly. Of course not. Yeah, of course, of course. Make sure First, to uh, find We must room. bid this fucking bed farewell. We're never gonna sleep on something so luxurious in our entire lives. <laughs> Tell me, can we oh, keep you the are. Yeah, you're gonna have uh, you've got a luxurious bed to look forward to the rest of your tiny life. <laughs> and I'm sure that Wolf will be looking forward to a luxurious couch. Yeah. The nicest couch, though. It's the nicest couch. Nice, the nicer game. than any bed you've ever slept in. Yeah, this is still an upgrade. Except for the, that one. Yeah. So I assume we'd be going to rendezvous with the rest of the party. Seems like a good idea. Yep. Yep. I mean, it would be cool to be told. <laughs> that would be uh, useful. We're just waiting here like, where the fuck are they? Oh, they didn't actually kill him, did <laughs> Start assuming all the worst, and then me, Gunner, and York are just like kicking the door like, WHERE IS HE?! <laughs> <laughs> WHERE IS HE?! WHERE'D HE GO?! Birds and rabbits! 
One's a 56 second streak, the other's at Cicero. <laughs> gonna head downstairs. You're of course dressing up, that's, that's a pretty important part. No, you're not so I... too spooked at this time for pants. Oh my oh. god, a 5 million volt stun gun club. Rem, please. <laughs> oh, is it only forty dollars? The bots don't actually play any parts because there isn't enough space for the arcs to jump any further. But it looks cool. It looks and sounds cool, but Damn, you and you can look at it later. I mean, Esper is infinitely jealous of your good end. Say, uh, you two no rest for the you weekend. are going to be able to meet up with everyone else at some point in the afternoon. Hey, Wolf, guys. Good to see you're alive. Yeah, alive mm. and. Uh... More well She's than not... we've been in a long time. Oh, really? You're still looking like a little bit peaky. Uh, emotionally well. Oh, all right. Yeah, what He's brings not on this new watch. emotional well-being then? Well, you didn't get to you know with the queen, did you? Well, no, setting that aside, no. <laughs> uh, the queen has made us a uh, a generous offer. To, uh, well, stay around. Uh, permanent like. No shit. All right. And what kind of dangerous job would you be doing? Uh, well, Amelia would be risking life and limb at the Shalyan missionary here, and, uh, I'll be fighting tooth and nail at, uh, my merchant business that I'll be setting up here. I might huh. even become a heavy priestess. Oh, you're retiring. Yeah, huh. in uh, in so many words. Yeah, well, you can say that. And you're sure it's not going to turn out to be some kind of horrible death trap? I mean, I mean there's worse death traps. Even if it's a sure, death trap, I'll I'll admit that. I'm tired of running. And, and there's a child on the way. Yeah, and I'm getting on in years, and, uh... Well, that you know was what? one more brush with death than I think I can, uh, safely justify. You know, I'd call you a coward if that didn't sound fairly plush. I'll just settle with calling you weak instead. Well, all right, I'll take that insult to heart and cry myself into the bosoms of all these ladies in waiting and these stacks of gold I'll be earning. Right. Speaking of, uh, speaking of, I'm taking your cart. What? Oh, I was going to uh, loan it Still to you uh, <laughs> while you're here in the north. I need that back, Gunner. Do you, though? Yes. I, it's part you of sure my merchant. But look, I need the horses back. You can keep the cart. Oh, I'm going to miss them. You can have one horse. <laughs> No, Gunner, I, I swear to God, them. I would, I could never separate peaches and cream. Yeah, they, they, they're, they're twins. Come on, twins, you say? Twins, Gunner, Gunner, twins. Like Fuck the man, way said twins. What? Twins are lucky. Are you sure oh. we even need a a carriage? I mean, yeah. with a bunch of us, we could probably foot it pretty reasonably. Yeah, true. Yeah, but it's plush and warm. We're I mean, don't take the drinks. carriage if you don't want it. I'm just offering something nice for my friends, but, you know, if you want to just throw it in my face. It's sure. Like... I mean, the reality is we'd... Fuck, I mean, have to we take care of horses and stuff. North. Yeah. I just wonder as well how useful it'll be in the snow. I mean, there's roads in this place, I assume. Yeah, you could use the roads. That's an option. Sure and true. Sounds weird using roads all the time when there are places between that are quicker. I can understand it for a smaller group, but now, eh, well, I've had that dangerous. discussion before. Using the roads is a great way to break your cart or wagon. 
hey, don't don't feel obligated to take the carriage. I mean, you know, whatever. I mean, I'm indifferent, but that might just be because I'm a bit lighter on my feet, regardless. Yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of which, and mm-hmm. Wolf will go over to. Uh, God, I guess Yolka probably is the most uh, apt character for this. And he's going to take off one of his belts. And he will hand it his to Yolka. Falls. Yeah, and it's just, <laughs> All right, dwarf. Last chance to suck on these nuts. <laughs> no, uh, Wolf will hand you his belt with holster, powder, and shot for the blunderbuss. Oh. Say, don't need to be uh, much good with firearms to use this old girl, but uh, well, I don't need it anymore. So, does this mean you're also going to learn how to shoot properly in your off time? Yeah, maybe, or maybe I don't need to shoot anymore. Ah, uh, fucking God's willing that you don't. Just gonna keep an eye on y'all to see if. See, took any offense in that marksmanship comment? <laughs> no, she, she can't. She does. Anything. She just can't shoot for shit. <laughs> so does Yolka take the uh, take the blunderer? Uh, I I will as as soon as Firefox. <laughs> yep, you don't even need a proficiency. Yep, that's the great thing about it. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, that. Uh, yep. It's just free aimless cone damage that you don't have to give a fuck about. It is a incredibly legitimate weapon, the equalizer, so to speak. <laughs> I'm, uh, it's a cannon. I'm I think Lil so doesn't ha- want medium armor, does she? Uh, no. I'm already wearing like a full set of studded leather, which is about as good as normal medium without all of those pesky, pesky penalties. All right. Uh, then I'm going to give uh, Esfa two healing droughts and also a a very uh, grandiose forgiveness of her debt of twelve and a half crowns. <laughs> I appreciate so that. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, I have this magical stuff that I can give to absolutely no one. Well, give it to Esfa, and maybe some future character might. Have a use for it. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah. What, what, magic- uh, what does what does the staff yeah. itself do? Because indeed, it came from a. Uh, it's an elven an, thing. Yeah, from an elven place, and she actually does have wishes to develop magical skills, and is in the process of slowly doing so. You probably have to return it. There we go. Also, That's if you have one. if you have magical components, I'll take those. Well, I do have... Nah. Unfortunately, you have to be a divine caster to benefit Yay. from the uh, green red yeah. staff. Uh, uh, but dang. what about Gunnar? Actually, yeah. He is not a priestess of Shalia. Or Isha. Although I will say that I have to have a magic item of some sort in order to advance into Ice Witch from Ice Maiden, so you know. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. I'll find it. Yeah. I, I, I feel like it would be more in keeping for her to keep for her to hold on to the Greenwood stuff. And indeed, I feel that if you're in a Shalian mission here, the idea of keeping uh, an Ishan relic is a better thing for everyone. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, as as wonderful a magical item as it is, it technically isn't a use to our party, and I feel that it is a more use in the hands of a healer here than it would be uh, on the road seeing nothing but use as a rudimentary walking stick of my people. Also, Her work is never done, after all. Oh, as for here, have 50 arrows. I also don't need these mm-hmm. anymore. Oh, uh, thanks. You know, just try not to walk around with just one ever again. <laughs> sure, it'll be the last time I ever go into a party without a full fucking quiver of, wh- of arrows. Good last. And good here last. I thought that actually going in with any at all was going to be in poor taste. And I was wrong. <laughs> at this point, we should always expect that we are going to have at least one attempt in our lives, no matter where we go. Sounds about correct. 
Um, yeah, I'll add more arrows. Dope. Yeah, 129 arrows. I need, to, I need to remind me to put in the blunderbuss. Uh... So. Yeah, there'll be a, a, a sad ass for a moment, oh and then God. she will uh, step up. Did All right, well, Wolf. Happen? Wolf will give Vespa a hug. Uh, damn it. All right, sure. I, I was going to say, to you're... Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, shut up, Mom. <laughs> so how's it going to so how's it going to feel to actually, you know, be able to sleep in more than be able to sleep in a town for more than 5 days before they chase you out? <laughs> well, I'll let you know 6 days from now. <laughs> Balance around. We might have to look into seeing if there are other people who will well, join up with us. Of course, we can get around pretty well with a party as, well, I was going to say light, but Yulka is not the quickest, if not, you know, a reliably consistent walker. Let's see, more makes up for that with her yeah. axe. Indeed. I am a sprinter and she is a marathoner. I have come to accept this about life. <laughs> Actually, no, wait, aren't dwarves supposed to be natural sprinters? Deadly short distances. <laughs> true. <laughs> God damn it, you're true. You're right. They're, they're sort of good at both. <laughs> they're good at force marches and very sh and very short bursts. A whole. What is my charge? My charge is six. I can close that distance probably faster and deadlier than most elves. I like how that's actually mechanically a thing. It's amazing. What? That uh, dwarves are natural sprinters. Yeah. Just... <laughs> like, just because imagine he... a 200 pound ball of iron just smacking into you. Angry and with covered in weapons. Alright, so you're giving a gift to Yoka and Esfa. Does Gunnar get anything? A hand job. Yeah, Gunnar. Nice. His respect. Yeah, you uh, get uh, Wolf's respect and a hug. Gunnar, you mm -hmm. actually. I have 13. Uh, I have 30 healing draughts. What? Yeah. Wait, 3 0? I oh, yeah. Need, you I don't need for my character. I don't need armor. I don't need weapons. What do you think I've been doing with every single SP of my money? Oh, my God. I have 30 healing draughts. All right. Brit, give me the five, six packs of healing cola. Spread <laughs> <laughs> them out amongst yourselves. I feel All like Gunna should, Gunna should hold like the majority of them. Oh my god. So just Gunnar like just has like... Fight. Gunnar just has like six... A little bit, actually, yeah, a little bit over six, six packs of healing drugs. Yep. Delightful. Nice. It'll be Jesus. put in the bag right next to his soap. We'll just sort of like look it's... at this as it's uh, transferring over and say, What the hell were these yesterday? <laughs> uh, I think they're being used as anal beads. Uh... You know, by the one who's going to be fucking your wife from now on. It's okay, Connor. Okay. Pro probably not a too. thing to say outside. <laughs> I'll miss you. Okay, big guy, keep it in. Wait, what? Said I'll miss you too, Gunner. <laughs> Alright, bring it in. Bring it in, big guy. <sighs> if you insist. I do. Wolf will give you a hug. Shucks. And then Skinship. he will lean oh, down and give you a and hug stab too. you in the back. Oh, oh okay. I I hug I hug Wolf back. <laughs> Do you try to resist the Jesus? What is that? One, two, 
60, 50, 40, 30, 20. Uh, a little bit over four degrees of success on a strength test. Uh, to do what? Giving you the barest of bear hugs. He's uh, very wounded. Please don't pop his guts out. I feel like I'm obligated to resist for my life's sake. And this is how Wolf dies. No, no. I'm just giving you a man's hug. <laughs> All right, everyone just off. hears this horrible pop, and then Wolf's lifeless body just slumps to the floor. There goes your last faithful. The final hug. The hug of death. And no, then we just, does. Gunner just like pulls his face off and says, more sends his regards, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's just no. I was just doing that for shits and gigs. Just the moment I the moment I hear just a little grunt or a popping sound, I'll stop. All right, it's like immediately. Oh, you baby! It was just a rib going into my lung. It's fine. It's fine. Uh. Amy's going to immediately rush over and heal him. <laughs> no actual damage was taken. I'm going to mess you too. I'm saying that out of character. Oh. Nope. But you will be missed. Yeah, Hopefully you other... Hopefully others will miss you too. With every spear, arrow, and bullet. Just don't get yourself Same to you, big guy. And uh hey, if you're ever back in the neighborhood. Oh, I'm just gonna be we're just gonna be popping over to Pinsk real quick. Yeah, exactly. Just uh come back in a couple days and save us from whatever horrible danger we've gotten ourselves in. Alright, sure. You got, like, one more freebie rescue once you've already retired. You know, everyone, in your case, everyone gets one. And Spider-Man? Yes, like the man spider. Everyone gets one rescue. Yeah, all right, man. Oh, it's an old legend from up here. I always heard Esther's it was the uh, the it. spider pig, yeah, but sad. oh yeah, I forgot. Few people in the north have mm. a man, a man who uh, got a minor mutation where he had the head of a spider, but he, but he was so, but despite that, he felt that he still had to be good, so he dedicated the rest of his life to helping people. Despite how he looked, he was eventually captured and decapitated. As you do. That's horrible. Yeah, sure, but he had a spider face. I mean, even if. I feel look, like that's the worst part of cute. the story. Yeah. Spiders are only cute when they're really small. Spiders aren't cute ever, as for what the hell. What? It's a spider. Sure, and they're like fuzzy and small, and they know how to hug, and they like to sit where it is warm on a person. That sounds that means... just like a dwarf. Sure. Spiders are like the dwarves of the insect world. They are small and dangerous, but they are very warm. <laughs> I am okay with this comparison. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, wasn't Uncle... <laughs> trying to think, wait, wasn't some of my family eaten by a spider? Sure, but that's because it, it was a big spider, it, and that's when they're not cute. Yeah, that's true. true, true. Yeah, they're a lot. Yes, yes. That's... Can we please stop talking about spiders? I mean, you'd be hard pressed to find any here in Kiss Left, so that's a positive for you, I suppose. Yes. See, mm -hmm. always think on the bright side. No spiders in Kislev. No massive dwarf eating spiders in Kislev. No, you just have bears and wolves and Norskins that aren't me. Uh, 
we faced worse. I'm sure that whatever happens, Wolf will be able to handle it. I'll tell you what, Wolf, uh, if you're ever, when you're doing your whole trader thing, uh, sending work back down south, uh, get in touch with my sister. I'm sure she can, you know, business something businessy. And I'm sure she'd be glad to know that you're all successful and stuff, and probably pass the message on to your mother, which I'm sure will give you no end of joy. Yeah. You do realize your mother will come up north to find you to congratulate you, right? Not as she never knows where I am. Oh, trust me. If we get a chance, I'll let her know exactly where you are. Gunner, when did I offend you? No, I'm saying that you should spend more time with your mother. I hate her. <laughs> She gave birth to you. <laughs> exactly, that's where the hatred starts and just keeps going from there. <laughs> Very dwarven approach of you. So what made you so angry? Well, first I was born. <laughs> <laughs> and it was widely regarded as a terrible idea. <laughs> first my father found someone who was as fond of terrible decision making as, <laughs> as he. <laughs> And then, <laughs> nine months later, a child happened. Seriously, I am curious of why you dislike your mother. Yeah, She's a horrible like harpy her. who never left me alone to make my own decisions. She's concerned. She was what we like to call a gyrocopter parent. <laughs> a, a what parent? A what? <laughs> oh, what is, oh a gy- yes. what is a gyrocopter? Oh. Have you never heard of a gyrocopter? They flew some over the Reichland at one point. Mm-hmm. Dwarven engineer. That's not a cannon. Indeed, it's, no, it's, like a, a, cannon. it's a con, it's a conveyance that's like two big spinning deadly blades that holds a machine up in the sky. Admittedly, not for massively long, but usually it's also full of bombs to drop on some poor bastard. How the hell does it? How does that work? I don't know. All I'm picturing is just a giant machine flailing about with two swords. In the sure. sky. It, okay, yeah, it looked, it looked, it, it, it's honestly not far off, but it looked a lot like if you put a boat upside down uh, and then put that like curvy underside, like spinny blades on it. And then it flew. Wolf pats Amelia's backside when uh, Esfa says curvy underside. Mm-hmm. Boop, boop. Wolf. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad to know that my first human friend did not actually die a horrible death before we parted ways. Mostly yeah, thanks to at you least. and Gunner. Ah, shucks. Ah, oh, shucks. Well, hey, uh, when Indeed, I'm dead know. and buried from old age, be sure to come up here and befriend my kids and take them on adventures and get them almost killed. It'll be great. Well, don't Hopefully sure. your son's a better warrior than you are. Hey! Please. I mean, he'll be grown up in kiss life. True. Do he'll not... actually be competent. Hey! Do not Add take it. my child on adventures. Oh Please. no! I'll just oh, not no, even like small it. adventures. I won't no. take your I won't take your child on adventures. I'll take him drinking. You know, oh. drinking like a real man. I mean, they're in kiss life, Gunner. Oh, I was about to say northern drinking. Exactly. See, this entire time we've known Gunner, he's just been getting to the place with the drinking. <laughs> yes, and have you noticed it's that? It's the, the mecca of Source. Have you What's noticed it? that my mood has improved once we're here? <laughs> <laughs> he's remarkably more charming and cheerful, and I don't get it. And can you hear jaunty w- tunes being whistled on the wind? There's no excuse for this. Sorcery. Foul sorcery, I say. Well, more like sorcery. No, no, no. Sorcery. See, here's the thing. Your South doesn't appreciate friend drinking and friendly casual violence like the North does. Drinking and casual violence leads to more drinking and more violence. I see no problem with that. out of control. I feel like that's how the entire North came to be. That's how the Empire used to be back in the day. Yes, and the Empire back then sounds wonderful. True, but I admit that the ba- the Empire back then wasn't, you know, attacked by, like, creatures from the underground or something. No, they were too busy killing each other, I've heard. 
Eh, fair enough. It's a very human thing to do, though. The unification right, is Right, because elves never kill each other. Oh, no, we kill each other really good, but uh, we also happen to be of entirely different skilled color and beliefs. No, humans do that so to each other, too. Hmm. So you... I don't understand. Why do you kill each other over just simply different skin colors and beliefs? That's fairly petty. Sure, except for the fact that their beliefs happen to be, like, you know, slavery, but the kind where you're meant to hand up their souls to the dark god Slanesh, and also, uh, let's think here. Oh yeah, all the family murdering they did. It kind of turned their skin that color. Is that how that works? Well, there's actually no definitive answer, but that one's the one that makes the most sense. Huh. What? I just never knew. That's why the elves were casually racist. Oh, yeah, sure. It's because we literally have a reason to be casually racist. The people who are actually different from us distinctly, despite being also elves, can't be trusted because they're all horrible murderers. Sounds quite racist. Yeah, it's nice sure. to know racism lives everywhere. Of course. Apart from dwarven racism, which is just everyone that's not a dwarf, I, I believe. Gl glance at the dwarf. Yes. I feel like at that point, that's just nationalism. Uh, <laughs> hmm. You raise a fine point. Might. Yes. As fine as the Raxes. Well, anyway. So what's this deal about Pinsk then, Gunnar? Seeing as you're probably going to be our de facto, like, talk to people person now. Oh, uh, he pulls out a roll of papers. These are papers signed by the magistrate of Pinsk. That lets me legally enter, search, and take what is rightfully mine from the property of one Gustavus Stahl, who Roth and Zabrik sold my axe to, and my uncle gave the axe to Hrothen. Hmm. These papers let me legally enter and search his property and take what is rightfully mine. All right. I guess our job then is to go and find your fancy axe. Yes. And hopefully uh, nothing bad will happen. Hopefully. Sure, but we're going to assume that bad things will happen, so how about we look for some extra muscle, seeing as we're in that side of position. Is this how what it feels like, Wolf? Yep. Oh, hey, huh. speaking of which, and Wolf will take out like a little piece of paper or something that he's had some servant write down a name and place on. Uh, this is a uh, contact I made uh, What for the merchant business. Uh, maybe if you guys are up in Astuyug... Uh, you might want to drop in on a Vladimir Rovanov. He's uh, got some goods back in the Empire that are going to be pretty valuable. But, uh, you know, I'm going to be setting up here for the foreseeable future, so... Yeah, a story. Alright. Uh, can you ping us over to it? Unless I can't see for sure. Ah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> All right, sure. There we go. Anyway, speaking of which, I uh, think Amy and I better head on off and uh, check out this uh, Shalian mission, so. Sure. Want some company on the way there? Or is this now your uh, settling into work? Yeah, this is the, uh, the settling into work thing. All right, then. Good luck to the both of you. And uh, don't get killed by something stupid. All right, we'll wait for the smart vampire to come for us. <laughs> uh, I wish I was joking. Come on, Amy. There's, a, there's not gonna be any vampires there, are there? No, it's too cold. Oh, thank God. Wait, doesn't this place have like a thirty days a night thing going on? Oh, what? 
Never mind. No, no we're thinking farther north. Oh, okay. That's good. Let's go off. Yeah, and then Wolf and Amy trot on. And they didn't oh, die horribly. Nice. Amazing. What is this? And then the cart crashes into them. Yeah, we're like halfway down the street and just... <laughs> ma ma male bear goes on a rampage. <laughs> no, male bear, no! You're supposed to deliver the package, not his head. So I think for now our last sight of Wolf and Amy will be them reaching the... Uh, entrance of a small Shalian mission, giving each other a little smile, and then passing through that door into the rest of their lives. Yeah, I'm slightly upset good that end. you didn't. Uh, am I? Am I allowed to be upset that you ended up happy? <laughs> yeah, this is Warhammer. What the fuck happened? I didn't get uh, enslaved or die uh, horribly. When's the last my life? And I hope it all yeah, this, this is probably the best thing that's ever happened to a set of Warhammer characters. Holy fucking shit! I swear this is true. And I so, owe it all to you. So let's not give Saban any more copyright strikes than we have to. Oh, okay. oh we'd have to be able to sing and keep it up. <laughs> At this point, it's just a remix. <laughs> I'm gonna match and... with the safety dance. So, <clears throat> I think, uh, well, I know, Savin, you have a backup, a new character statistics, but you mentioned you didn't have their personality or backstory ready. Correct. And I don't think uh, Snippy has anything, so. Oh, yeah. He, he has a class. That's. Oh god, what did no, you I pick? got something. What do you think I say? Yeah, we uh, will call the uh, main part of the session and stream to a close now, I think. Well, you stick around a bit to uh, go over Snippy's new character, but uh, for now, thank you guys for playing. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks yeah. for running. I had a great time. Yeah, thank you for running. That I'm gonna was, miss this poor has old been, This has been an unusual yet happy session. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your mercy and not killing assistantly back in the other dungeon. To be fair, thank, thank you for your mercy. <laughs> to be fair, if um, Gunnar didn't just slaughter that one guy like immediately, that could have ended quite badly. Yeah. You you did the Gunnar thing, which is just immediately win the fight. <laughs> is it, what am I chopped at you? What, what am I chop lever and fucking Captain Headshot? I'm so, I'm sorry. I apologize that Gunnar is naturally terrifying. <laughs>